Doolittle is the Pixies' latest album, which is topping the college charts as a Pixies album usually does. And behind this album is the Pixies. And we are here with oh. all the Pixies. Black Francis right over here. We have Joey Santiago, Dave Lovering, and Kim Deal. Welcome to Cleveland once again. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. It's been a while. You've been on the show before. Uh, can you tell me a little sure bit goes. about what's what's happened in the last year? We made another album. Mm -hmm. Four seasons have passed by. Toured England twice, <laughs> Europe once, doing America once. Now. And what was your favorite of all these things that happened? Oh, well, many things. The changing of the seasons, probably. Yeah. Black Francis, what's your favorite season? The fall. Why? I think they're a really good band. I mean. <laughs> Marky Smith is like uh, the white Manchester rap, king of white trash rap. We've got sirens. Changing the leaves and stuff, you know what I mean? Of course. I don't know, it gets cold and cool. Where are you from? <laughs> uh, I got a ring in my ears. <laughs> I think we all do. We all have tonight. Well, that's Medicine weird. Medicine kicked one. in. It's over. Let's talk about the album, Do Little. Or is it Do Little? Well, it depends on how you pronounce it. <laughs> well, what does it mean to you? Why, why the title Do Little and why the monkey on the cover? Well, we don't do the cover work, so we don't, we don't really know about the monkey so much. But it's called Do Little because that's one of the words mm -hmm. in the song, one of the songs. No As more Dr. Do Little. No more thought went in it than to just pick out a word from a song. Exactly, yeah. That seems to be an easy way to do things. When you go into the studio, is it just as easy? No. <laughs> Sometimes very easy, huh? Isn't it? It's easy. This is easy stuff for us. We just put ourselves into a catatonic state, <laughs> and then the music starts to happen. Though. Yeah, that's great. Are you are you uh, involved in the production so much that you're changing the the songs in the studio, or are you are they pretty much done on this album when you go in? Yeah, they're like the basic arrangements there, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Just hasn't captured the performance, the blistering performance yet. Mondays has a new release on Electra Records stateside. It's called Bummed. And with me from Happy Mondays is Sean and Bez. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome to Cleveland. Oh, oh all right. Is this the first tour of the States for the both of you? First show, sure, yeah. Yeah. So what are our impressions so far of the, the States? Well, it's all right. It's run by a bunch of commies. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Shut that's Shut up, right. you clown. We sat that. Well, that's what I think. Oh, that's what I think, man. Well, I'm a bit straight. Well, what we'll gives you that impression, anyway? Sucky he's having, he's having a go. He knows that. He knows, like, he just likes to say stupid things like that. All right, bummed the album. Uh, are, are we bummed? Yeah. Bummed. Bummed. Yeah. We, are, we are bummed. Now, bummed might mean something different right. in Manchester. It means, it means about five different things, don't it? I mean, it's just a weird that, we, we, you know what I mean? We, we, can, we can never be mithered thinking about titles and things and if there's a word that's knocking about we'll use it it was just a an in word at the time weren't it what everyone was saying everyone's going around saying fucking hell bum a bum there and a bum this and a bum that it's just a word what everyone was using it i like the artwork on the cover here um where who is involved in doing the the psychedelics here well, he's sat down there matt in the lad who the lad who did it is uh, my cousin keep it in the family Got me old bloke as a road here, my cousin who does all the artwork. <laughs> now you're keeping everyone that works on the album in the family. Does that include the, the lady on the inner sleeve that I've heard? Auntie Mary. <laughs> Auntie Mary, could you tell me a little bit about the woman on the inner sleeve and maybe the trouble you had by uh, printing this record, especially here in the States? I guess you've had some problems. There was no, there was no trouble really until it got to some of the religious <laughs> the country, you know, with our pure dick. <laughs> Put with the belt apart. You know what oh, I mean, we, it's a naked woman, that's it, I mean. We had loads of lesbian scumbags at home, tearing the, going in, tearing the record covers up and that, saying it was uh, disgusting to women. But all the girls we know thought it was funny yeah, anyway. Yeah, all the girls we know like doing that girls. sort of thing. <laughs> like stripping off naked and posing for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Who's producing your, your records? Well, Martin Annett produced that one. Uh -huh. And be working with us again. So you uh, had on a the next album. You, had, you have good... Well, relationship in this good thing. vibes with Martin, yeah, yeah, yeah. proper good vibes in the area with old Martin, yeah, because he's he's on the same wave as us. He's pretty, it? he's pretty. I mean, before he was a record producer, I think he was a mad scientist or something like that. So he's 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 a mad he's a madman. So he's a madman, but I mean, he works well with us. 
I mean, he's not just like a normal record producer, he's a mate as well, and he knows all our moods and everything. So, he, and he's got a lot of good ideas. Does he spend any time in the taverns with you? Spends most of his time in the taverns. <laughs> I think that's where we produced a record. <laughs> it was lucky it come out so well. No, it weren't lucky, it was just... Well, it could have come out, it could have come out really mad, couldn't it? Yeah. Well, with such proficient musicians as yourselves just working the, the instruments, uh, t tell me about your process in the studio. Are, are you pretty creative within the confines of the studio there, or, or do you have stuff pretty written written down in the way you want it once you get, or like before you get in? Well, we have an idea, and when you get in the studio, you, you've got a lot of time to mess about, and you, 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 you hire in things that you need and all that. Like, you've always got ideas in your head. All, all the tunes are, are pretty wrote though, aren't they? Yeah, and you just get changed a bit when you go recording them. Like we've got a new album ready to do when we get back from there. No. We it in a week before we come. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Spend a lot of time on our LPs. No, and the, and the credits it says that the the whole band is writing the songs. Is that is that true? Yeah. Uh, well, they all write the music, and I mean, the, the, yeah, it's probably it is true because the words aren't really written down when we're getting songs together. We just, turn, we just turn on a tape recorder and just jam for like three hours one song, shouting lots of different mad words out and putting all sorts of things in, then play it back and listen to it, pick out the best bits. I know there's uh, quite a bit of diversity on the album. There's uh, a little bit of a country sound on one, a little bit of a, a jazz flavour starts out another one. Is is this deliberate or...? or... A jazz flavoured one. Which right. one's that? We know the country one, but... <laughs> Country one was I'm not sure about any jazz on it. I think, well, it, it just seemed to me a little pop jazz flavored. It was, it was in the very beginning of one of the one of these songs over here, I think, on oh, the on the Anders side one. Probably is. I mean, we stole bits of music out of every type of music. You know what I mean? Because I mean, we've been lucky to grow up from the Beethoven to the Beatles. From everything, you know what I mean? We've <laughs> had every sort of music that we've grown up with. In England, it's different. You've got a radio station. It plays all sorts of music. Northern England is like northern soul, funk, and then. All sorts of stuff like that, you know. I mean, then you've got your radio, your commercial radio, you listen to it all. I mean, you know, we like all sorts of music. It goes in your head and it's just in there.